Hi everyone and thanks for watching this new video. I went to Uganda during the Christmas season and although the main reason was to see my boyfriend it turned out I had a lot of collapse and in this video I want to give you the behind the scene of the collapse. It started already before I went to Uganda. I got a DM in November from the Amers Kids Foundation that want to collab with me and I got really excited when I was watching their profile on TikTok and even more because I had some idea in my mind to change the song Do They Know It's Christmas Time since that is really a bad song. So we texted over and over and we decided to change the song and also made some other videos together. On the 14th of December I arrived in Uganda and the 18th of December that was the day that our collab took place. Hello guys, I'm here at the Amers Kids Foundation and behind me you see those incredible dancers, I have to say, performers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Dan, on behalf of all the kids, uh, we are so happy to host Aunt Jessica here and uh, it's a pleasure like, to, to be working with her right now and we are so happy and uh, blessed to have her home today. So thank anyway. you, and you are doing incredible work. Yeah, thank you so because much. Because you are the host of all these kids, yeah. right? Yeah, yes. sure. Yes. Are you ready to dance? Yes, so I'm guys, ready to dance. She's going to dance today. You've never seen her dance. <laughs> <laughs> so. That has a reason. They wanted me to dance with them, but I am the worst dancer in this universe. So I got really shy and ashamed. I was like, oh my goodness, what are we doing? I can't dance at all. But the vibe from the kids was really nice and after a while I got used and I really enjoyed it actually. And after the dancing it was time to create the song and although we didn't have that much time to get in the studio or really make it like good together it turned out not that bad you know because imagine we shoot and edit it all in one day because i wanted to post it before christmas since it was a christmas song but yeah to be honest i hope that one day i come back to uganda and we can record the song again but then in a studio and make it even better than it was before yes, we know it's christmas time. That's all. It was really amazing to meet the kids and Dan as well and he does great work for the kids and he's not the only one who does great things for the kids. So yeah, there are so many Ugandan people who do great things for orphans or other kids in Uganda. So yeah. Great job to all of you guys. You deserve really all the love in the world. And I thought this would be my only collab. But at one day I was in the office with my boyfriend where he works from. And actually I went just down for a coke. I was like, oh, I'm thirsty, let me go get a coke. So I went down and I found Blaze. He was like, hey, I know you from TikTok, you know, and you did a collab with the Amers Kids Foundation. I said, yeah, yeah, that's true. And he said that he was from the Smash Talent Kids. And actually I knew them as well from, I think it was TikTok or Instagram. And I knew that Isabel Afro, who uh, is from Denmark with her boyfriend from Tanzania, did a collaboration with them. And I was really excited that they asked me as well. So I said, of course I'm going to collab. And it turns out it was just around the corner of the office. So really nice. And fun fact, we did a lot of kind of dances. And like I said, I'm not a dancer. So I was a little bit like, yeah, what are we going to do? And then there was one song it was already the end of the day. Uh, we practice a lot with all those other songs. And like I said, I'm not a dancer, so it was really exhausting for me. And then they asked me like, oh, can you do just one la last song? It's the Fireball from Pitbull, can you join us? And I was like, okay, I love that song. That's really an old song, but hey, YOLO. So I did what they asked me from, the, from me. And this song, 
if I knew at that moment what this song would do, gee, it blew up. And at this moment, and maybe when I post this video, we reach already this amount, but it is almost 1 million views. Incredible. I didn't thought about it, that it would happen like that. It was like on YouTube. And it gave me already so much new subscribers. So let me know if you came because of this song. So, Wibbelenjo is this in Uganda or thank you very much. I forgot them, but we call it Or of Oren. Oren. Amatu. Amatu. And one year was? Okutu. Okutu. Ah, yes. I've learned it. Uh, uh, in, in English, we call we call it mouth. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can also say mouth. No, no, no. But this is lips. Lip. Lip. Yeah, but no, I'm saying lip. mouth, not lips. Oh, then I mean mouth. What is in my mouth in the camera? Oh, oh, But the Smash Talent kids were not the only kids that Blaze took care of. He also takes care of the Zion kids. And this time we made a lot of different songs. They knew already that I'm not a dancer. So they said, you know what? You do playbacking. And to be honest, I like to playback. And I don't know what it is, but when you learn me a dance, I don't know what it is, but my brain go like error. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. But say, hey, Jetske, we have a song. Do you want to uh, remember the lyrics? I just have to listen twice to the song and I know all the lyrics. I don't know why, but it happens. So, yes, I did some songs, but maybe I put sometimes too much dramatic in the song. <laughs> ah, yeah. Don't judge, don't judge. But it was nice though, and also these kids were a vibe. But like all kids, I have so much respect how hard they work. Because it's like in the middle of the day, the sun is really hot, but they dance and they are so excited and they are so energetic. And before you judge as well, uh, the reason why all those groups do it is just to get their school fees. And I think it's a really good or well, nice thing to do to earn money with making content and get to school still and follow your dream you know it is part of following your dream showing your talent but also going to school and learn and of course it was the christmas season so they have like two months off so they had lots of time to make content so it's not that they didn't go to school to make content no they were like two months off <laughs> Because of the collaboration with the Sign Kids and the Smash Talent Kids, the Hudson Dream Girls DM'd me as well on Instagram. It was crazy though. They asked me if I want to collab with them as well. So of course I said yes. And also these girls were really a vibe. I already warned them like I'm not a good dancer so please do something else. So we decided to do more acting, more dancing, more or not dancing but like acting, playing. And then they danced of course because those kids can dance. And I am so grateful as well that like I said, when I was in Uganda, my first thought was, okay, I'm just going to have nice time with my boyfriend, maybe even some free time. I just go with the flow, you know, I didn't want to work really. And it turned out that I worked 
more than ever on my channel but I loved it every time when I had a collaboration I was thinking how lucky am I that I can do this that I I was enjoying it so much and although I'm not earning yet with with the YouTube I'm I'm totally fine you know I do this also for fun for you for me for everyone to show you that yeah I think everything is possible if you work for it and I see it also with those kids who dance they grow so fast and yeah like I said they can earn money because of social media so yeah that's really an inspiration so I want to thank you for watching this video and of course if you subscribed already thank you so much but if you didn't subscribe yet please do because it helps me a lot and my wish of course is to go back to Uganda as soon as possible but first my boyfriend is coming here so I'm really grateful for that as well and thanks for watching and see you at the next video. Bye bye!